Hello everyone, my name is Dietrich and I'm currently sitting in a 2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E and I'm going to teach you how to use Ford's Blue Cruise with the hands-free driving on this car. So the first thing we need to do before we even start, we need to go into the settings right here on the big touch screen in this particular car and we are going to go to the driver assistance and we are going to go to the cruise control and make sure that adaptive cruise control is selected and that all of this stuff is on the lane centering with hands free the activation prompts predictive speed assist and the in lane repositioning and the lane change assist we want all of that stuff on for what we're about to do because we are going to use the hands free driving so that's step one make sure all those are turned on in your settings and again you get to that by going to the little settings thing up here and going to driver assistance and adaptive cruise control. So that's step one. Once you get it out on the road, it's these buttons right here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel that we use to control it. This is for the lane centering system, the little kind of lane lines with the arrow. You have to make sure that lane keeping is set to on as it is now to get the system to function properly and then you push this button to activate the adaptive cruise control system and then you can bump up or down on that little toggle switch to set your speed that's why it says set once your speed is set you can bump up to increase your speed that's the plus or bump down to decrease your speed that's the minus this button with the car with the little radar beams coming out of the back of it that will adjust our following distance from the car in front of us if you want to cancel the adaptive cruise just push this button with the x and the arrow the x cancels and then you push it again to resume you can also just hit the brake like normal cruise control to resume as well and then with the lane change assist you just hit the blinker and uh, it will change lanes if it thinks that it can. Now you'll notice I can see my camera is picking up these flashing red lights right here. You can't see that with your naked eye, but the camera's picking it up. What that is, is that is the Ford Blue Cruise system watching your face. So when you're using this system, you still have to watch the road because if you're not watching the road, it will know because it's watching you with those infrared cameras and it will disable the Ford Blue Cruise if you're not paying enough attention so make sure to pay attention you can keep your hands off the wheel when the whole screen turns blue it's very obvious and I will uh, show you on camera how to do that um, but if it can't see that you're watching the road uh, it won't activate so if you're wearing a face mask if you're wearing dark sunglasses if you're wearing a hat that might mess it up um, some people I read in the manual that people have certain eye conditions where your eyes, the camera has trouble seeing your eyes, that may disable it. And then like if the car is way out of alignment, it won't activate. If you're using a spare tire, that can kind of throw the alignment off. This car doesn't have a spare tire, but like if you change the wheels and tires, that could throw it off. Um, if the windshield's too dirty and the car's camera can't see it, there's a lot of little things that could throw this system off. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and let's take it out on the road and I'm going to demonstrate for you how it works in real time. Okay, so I have merged onto a control axis highway. All my settings for the adaptive cruise are set to on and the giant infotainment screen. My lane keeping system is on, so I'm gonna push the button with the car with the speedometer on it on the steering wheel and hands-free is active. Now I hope this is showing up on the camera, but the whole graphic right there in front of me has turned blue, like a dark blue with a light blue steering wheel and a light blue car, and that is telling you that you can take your hands off of the steering wheel. Now again, I have the two cameras right here. They are watching my face to make sure that I'm watching the road. If I stop watching the road for a few seconds, they will beep at me and tell me to pay attention and it looks like I can probably make a lane change so it is preparing lane change we are changing lanes hands-free and then I'm going to return the turn signal stock to its neutral position so that was a hands-free lane change and we are cruising along now I'm actually going to bump plus a few times to increase my speed uh, speed limits are sort of theoretical on Southern California freeways. 
it is possible to get a speeding ticket on a Southern California freeway, but you have to be acting uh, like a real uh, impolite person. Ah, so now for whatever reason it has decided it doesn't want to uh, do the lane keeping assist, so it just told me to keep my hands on the steering wheel. So I am going to do that. As you can see right now, um, the lane centering is on, it's got the bubbles around the car, and now it's happy it wants to go hands-free again, so we'll go hands-free. So you do need to keep an eye on the system. Um, sometimes, like, there was a little curve right there, maybe it just didn't want to go through that curve on its own, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. What I've noticed in my couple of days driving this car, it's a little bit happier with lighter traffic. If there were less cars around, it may have more confidence uh, in the data that it sees, and it would have gone through that curve on its own. But you know, right now we have kind of light medium traffic, I would call this, at least for this area. So, uh, and it's telling me right now lane change possible. So if I would have wanted to change lanes there, I could have, uh, I'm not going to, cause I don't need to, but it does give you little alerts like that. I can, it's kind of centering me in my lane right now. This is a cool system. This is, other than Tesla Autopilot, which I have driven, um, this is the only other hands-free that I've used and it works very, very well. And somehow I feel like I have more confidence in it. And I will admit that I'm kind of biased towards Fords. I've owned two Fords in my life. Um, so maybe I have a little bit more trust in the Ford Motor Company than I do in Tesla because I don't know, Tesla seems to be just kind of winging it a lot of the time, and they've done some amazing things in the car world. I'm not trying to take anything away from them, but at the same time, I just feel like Ford is a company that has been around for a lot longer and, okay, so now it wants me to keep my hands on the steering wheel and takes their business more seriously. Now, situations like this can mess up lane centering devices because, you know, you can see there's like a break in the pavement and a black line going down the center of the lane. So that makes, uh, and now it's turned blue again. So I'm going to take my hands off of the wheel. So, you know, that's the thing about roads are not perfect and computers can differentiate some of this stuff, but the human driving element still needs to be there sometimes because, you know, there's a line right down the middle of the lane that I'm in right now. So, and that's, I don't know, a repair, a break in the pavement, something, who knows where that came from, but um, you have to be a human being and figure that out. And we're going through the curve. We're still hands-free. See, it did that one because I think because there's less cars around, it's more confident doing that. A few other things to keep in mind when using this system. Um, keep in mind if it's locked onto the car in front of you, what type of vehicle is it? Is it locked onto, you know, some weirdly shaped trailer that it may get too close to? If you're following the example, I always use a flatbed delivery truck with nothing on the bed of the truck. Um, are you locked onto the actual back of the truck or are you locked onto the back of the cab? So just pay attention, make sure it's not following. Okay, now it wants me to keep the hands on the steering wheel. So we're gonna do that. We are coming up to a freeway interchange here, which we're gonna take. And normally uh, the system will cancel itself when you're going through a freeway interchange. Okay, now it's gone hands-free again. We're not to the interchange yet. It's still about a mile away. So let's see what it does. Oh, there's a big chunk of tire in the road. Luckily not in our lane and nobody swerved into us to avoid it. So that was a good thing. If you have one of these cars and you haven't tried this system, I can totally understand why. It's, it sounds weird in a way, but I recommend trying it out because it does work really well. And as long as you pay attention to it, I can grab the wheel and take control right now. I can hit the brake and cancel it right now. I'm still in control of the car if I wanna be. Okay, now here we are coming up to the freeway interchange. We're still blue. Okay, keep hands on the steering wheel. I think it knows when it's gonna go through an interchange. Oh, and it, let's see, it bumped my speed down. I'm gonna increase my speed a little bit here. So I have my hands on the wheel. I am controlling the steering. Um, the car is still 
I'm not, I don't have my foot on the accelerator or the brake. The car is handling the speed aspect of it right now. I just have to steer it through the freeway interchange because the Blue Cruise won't do that. Most um, kind of self-driving systems won't do freeway interchanges. All right, now we're gonna get straightened back out in a normal lane. And we've gone blue. So now we're back to the hands-free situation. And we're cruising along. I'm gonna see if it'll make a lane change. Preparing lane change. There it goes. And then that time I only bumped it halfway down so it just canceled itself when it was done. It's so funny to watch the steering wheel turn itself. I've never fully gotten used to that. I've played with a few like uh, parallel parking assist systems in cars and it does the same thing. You can see the wheel turning itself and it's just kind of weird, but it works. What are you gonna do? So anyway, that is pretty much how to use the um, Ford Blue Cruise hands-free lane change and assist. It's a very simple system to use. And the main thing to keep in mind is you need to watch the road. You need to pay attention. If I, here, I'll just, well, if I cover up the sensors. Yep, there it goes, watch the road. So that's how long it takes for it to tell you to watch the road. Anyway, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, please like my video, subscribe to my channel as always. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.